always fumble at this at these beginnings anyways hey y'all welcome back to my channel i usually do like a really hurrah rah rah thing um and today i'm just not feeling it so i'll just jump straight into it it's the end of love island i don't know how long it has been and um yeah it was kind of late in putting out videos just a lot was going on and I really didn't have time but now that I do let's talk about what happened in the end my thoughts at least and opinions so Love Island has come to an end the remaining four couples were Chess, um, Shawnee's and Luke T, Luke M and Demi, Paige and Fib. Sadly Mike and Priscilla got sent home quite early in my opinion and I think they should have actually won Love Island, but then like whatever. I enjoyed watching them on screen and I had tons and tons of fun. I hope I get to see them doing something extra like in the future or whatever. Like, I don't know. I'm just looking out for them because I think like they're a good representative for the black community in general, especially like and even more so in particular in British culture? Should I say something like that? British pop culture? Yeah, let me put it that way. Um, who did I actually think? I loved all the other remaining couples. I think all their connections were genuine, whether this is true or not, just my opinion, whatever. Um, yeah, but I, I loved the last dates except for Paige and Finn. I think they went to some island and I'm like, why? But, but why, really? Um, uh, my favorite to last final date was Luke M and Demi. It was just such a beautiful ambience. I mean, like, how can you beat that? But then the love connection, I don't think... The love connection wasn't akin to the environmental setting of the date. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Um, yeah, so... Anyways, we come down to it. Everybody like kind of gives a little pretty speeches and everything. I think this season was the one season where everyone who the last four couples that were there was like, damn, yeah, you guys have really good connections. Like you're all good in your relationships. And I actually was happy this time around. And then like they did that whole prom thing and it was just it was just good vibes. This Love Island winter was just good vibes. The only sad part of it was that, unfortunately, you know, all Love Island fans know Caroline Flack was just like the face, the poster child of Love Island. And it was just like 2020 has just been that year where a lot of things have gone bananas. And one of them is like, the unfortunate and timely passing of Caroline Flack and it just it was just a shock for me because I've watched her like all the seasons this is the first time where I was like oh my gosh what's up with Caroline I didn't even know anything I was just like okay this is a new face but maybe it's because it's like winter love island I didn't even know I didn't even question why she was there because in my mind I was just like yeah I know I'm gonna see her like the regular summer love island so yeah they did a beautiful short tribute to her like the finale and damn it's gonna be really really hard not seeing her you know and as with everybody like you know you're just like you just wish the family and her friends just comfort you wish them like I don't even know how to console like a grieving person but then it also sh shed a light to the facts of like what social media does what being in the public eye can do and like there's so much hate out there you know and people can drive you by their words to depression and whatnot and I was just like, man, this has to stop. This really, 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 truly has to stop. I feel like, first of all, it's completely immature to attack someone online. Those are just my personal opinions. Like, you don't have to love everybody. But at the same time, if someone's feelings don't count, then why should your feelings 
count why should you even hear them like why should anyone care about what you have to say or what you think if you can't sympathize for someone else like I, I just I just don't get it the whole thing is absolutely convoluted and I guess my message out there is if you have nothing nice to say just shut it like nobody really cares about how you don't like someone in one way or another just keep it to yourself okay and move on let other people move on with their lives and that's all I'm gonna say no actually that's not all I'm going to say what I'm gonna say is like life is as I like saying it's a one big loop one big circle and trust and believe the good you do to others comes back and the bad that you do also comes back and this is not like oh a karmic type of philosophy this is just real life god has eyes and he sees everything and he meets out justice in due time because what makes you so special above like other people so you need to humble yourself all right anyway so back to love island 2020 um yeah so eventually who i actually thought would win or who i was rooting for was of course mike and priscilla but that didn't happen so my next couple that i actually thought long and hard about i actually thought shawnee's and luke t should have um if like you know should have been in the top contending couple i did think that look pa uh, um, page and finn were also a very strong contending couple and um yeah but the thing that what didn't strike it for me is just because i think because their love was established so early in the show that there weren't though it wasn't a bright burn it had now kind of like Faded. it had come down to a consistent level where it was just comfortable and you know but then what i liked about like luke t and shawnee is their love was relatively new compared to Paige and finn so you could really see the sparks you could really see the 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 glow and the genuine enjoyment of each other so i mean when it came down to it those were the top two couples and eventually yes Paige and Finn won and congratulations to them. I actually think at the end of this show, the prize truly is love. But again, I have not been 50,000 pounds richer in my life um, from being in a game show. So what do I know? But yeah, anyways, all the way around, I think love is ultimately the prize. If you can find true love, not saying it can't be found outside tv shows or whatever but then i guess that's what kind of like the couples were going for and anyway they have enough exposure so hopefully for those who are looking to secure bags i mean they still have that opportunity to do so i don't know how these couples fare off i don't know how money plays into their relationship i don't know any of that but all i can do is just wish them happiness and success in their relationship and that's it goodbye love island 2020 um winter edition and for those of you guys who have been watching my reviews this whole time thank you for your patience and thank you for coming along on the ride with me i think for me this is it for the winter season i don't think i'm gonna follow up um at least in videos about like life outside the island that's just not my forte and i think they're better suited people for that job and for everyone out there all love island fans all like all love island reviewers on youtube i have enjoyed a lot of your stuff that you guys put out there and you know just keep up the good work and ultimately at the end of the day we just watch this stuff because it's entertaining it's a good pastime and I don't think anybody should be judged for that. And if you have a problem, like if it's not your cup of tea, just leave it on the table. Walk away. You don't have to stick around, okay? And uh, yeah, that's it for me today. Hope you all guys have an enjoyable day, weekend, night, whatever it is, whenever this comes up. See you guys on the next one. <laughs>